Okay. To start off, I'm gonna show the name of the faces. Okay. These are the letters that I'm gonna be using in the algorithms, just to make it easier to understand and read. Okay. When I say a name without prime, like this, this is the top layer, so this is U. Okay? Because it's a clockwise 90 degrees turn. Turn it back, I would do U prime, which will have a little dash on it. Okay, so U, U prime. And it's the same for every face. F, R, L, D, and B. Okay. Now for the middle parts, this will be M and M prime. This will be Q, Q prime, and C, C prime. Okay. So now, on to the algorithms. All right, so we're gonna start off with centers. This one goes M, Q prime, M prime, Q. It's that center there, that center there, and that center there. And it is the same for this, that there, that there. All right, actually it's the opposite. That there, that there, that there. So, yeah. So, all right, now the next one will switch opposites that there, that there, and vice versa. So now you're going to go Q prime M2, Q M2. So there you go. And that's for switching centers. Now for switching corners. This one will switch these two and these two. You're gonna go R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. There you go. Now this algorithm uses the previous algorithm and then mirrors it. This one will put that there, that there, and that there. So I'm gonna go the same algorithm. Then you will go F prime U prime, F, U, F prime, U prime, F, U, F prime, U prime, F, U. Faster way of doing this is moving the right side to your front and doing the same algorithm but with your left hand. So that's how you move corners. Now for flipping corners. This is gonna move this in a counterclockwise direction. That there, that there, that there, and this in a clockwise position. That there, that there, that there. So you're gonna go R U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. Then mirror it, L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. There you go. You can also do reverse the whole thing. Go L prime U two L U 
I'll prime you and then do the right part and it'll do the same thing but opposite on this side. So that's how to flip corners. Now for switching edges. This is going to slide this over there. That will be flipped and put there. This will be flipped and put there. Okay. So, you're going to go M prime U M U 2 M prime U M. Now you can reverse this, move, slide that over there, flip that there, flip that, and put it there. You're going to go M prime U prime M U2 M prime U prime M. This is going to put that there, and that there, and that, and that. So, M, C, D, C prime, D2, M prime, D. That is not too hard to learn. It's one of the more difficult ones, but pretty easy. For the last stage, flipping edges. This one is going to flip this and this. I'm going to go R prime, Q prime, R2, Q2, R prime, U2, R, Q2, R2, Q, R, U2. There you go. Another thing you can do is switch this one and this one. Do the first half of the algorithm so you get to this part. Now, instead of moving it U2, you can do it U to flip this one or U prime to flip that one. Either way. So, I'll just show you. You just finish the algorithm, and there you go, flip that one and that one. Pretty easy. Alright, let's say you want to flip four edges. That, 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 and that. Now instead of doing the previous algorithm twice, you can do a faster algorithm, which will flip all four of these. And it's fairly easy to remember. You go M, U2, M prime, U2, M, U, M prime, U2, M, U2, M prime, U prime. So, I randomly came up with that algorithm without meaning to. I was trying a different algorithm. I was trying to learn, and I found that one by accident. So, yeah. Okay, now for the last algorithm. This one is actually moving edges. I didn't realize that until I had finished the second, or the, yeah, second to last part of the video, so I'm just putting it in here. You're gonna go R2, Q2, R2, Q2. Slides that there, and that there, and that there, that there. Very easy to remember. Very easy to do. Just thought I'd put it in there. So, yeah. To make a pattern like this and learn how to use these algorithms to their full potential and other tips please watch the video response or click the link right here in the annotations. Either way, uh, watch that if you want some other tricks. Thank you.